no matter how uneven a life seems. I just like trying to ignore it and or how unexpected her circumstances are. Jordan Bierman doesn't complain. From mom's perspective, from where we started, it's just amazing. Um, I've started just doing cartwheels at home. So then I got to a gym and got to do more like harder stuff. Yeah! You may have noticed her prosthetic foot, but what you can't see is the Osseo seventh grader and gymnast also can't see. It's like when the judges salute you, it, I can't see them most of the time. She's technically legally blind. Um, one eye, she has a glass eye in there, so there's no vision on that side. And those are just two of the obstacles Jordan has dealt with her whole life. So she was born with something called Galt syndrome, a genetic syndrome. Um, basically, she was born with some birth defects affecting her eyes, her vision, her skin, um, her foot. And with all of that, Jordan still competes in events like this one. So you could say she doesn't suffer from, but rather thrive with Galt syndrome. And if you've never heard of that rare genetic disorder, you're not alone. There's fewer than 300 reported cases worldwide. I, judges have said, I just want to give her a 10. And um, I know other gymnasts from other schools have come up and just said how much of an inspiration she is. None of that stops Jordan from flipping the script on her life getting up again and again and again. Well, it's hard to like balance on beam and that kind of stuff. When she likes something and she has a passion for something, she is the most determined person I've ever seen. It's a testament to trying, even if the odds may appear uneven. Like thinking about the things I need to do, like different so I can like land stuff. But every time, no matter if you land it or you don't, you get back up there. Why? So it can try it again and try and land it that time and get it better. Yeah, good job! Andy Mack, Care 11 Sports.